it's just a little art haul here. I saw an email to say that Jackson's was having a sale on their Unison pastels, which is no longer on, but they are having um, a sale on sets. So you may want to check that out because I'm not sure if Unison's are still on sale, but there are a bunch of other sets. So, <clears throat> whoops, that ah, close. It's very dull. So here we go. I've been trying to justify these two sets or one of these sets for a while now, but I just couldn't, and I definitely couldn't justify the full stick sets. So, these are half stick. I also got um, three of the Roman small just to add to what I already have. I have the Mummy Transparent Red, the Iron Chrome Brown, which I think is a new color, and the Indigo Hue because I just needed a darker, a darker blue. So we'll set those aside for now. Once again, Jackson's is pretty good about wrapping things and they wrap them in an environmentally friendly way. So this is what I got. I got the landscape half stick set, so that's 16 colors. And then the portrait half stick set, which is also 16 colors. And there you go. They're handmade in uh, England, in Northumberland. And I have, I think I have two sticks that I bought for life drawing class of Unison and that's it. So this is my first set of them. Really nice kind of linen, faux linen box. And there they are. That's the portrait set. There's a little thing about how to care for them, how to clean them when they get contaminated with other colors, etc. etc. <clears throat> That's that set. Let's leave that off for now. I kind of like this little box because I'll be able to take it with me when I do plein air um, artwork. And this is the one I've been after is the landscape uh, set. So like I said, I couldn't really justify the, the large sticks. And I wanted to try these. I really love <clears throat> the soft pastels made by Sennelier, but I wanted to give um, a shot to some of the other brands to see what they're like. I got, you'll see up at the top, um, I got some nice Diane Townsend um, soft pastels for my birthday, and those are gorgeous. And these look, just picking that one up, they feel a little bit softer, or a little bit harder than the Snellier. The Snellier just, there's so much pigment to them. Here. I have a box right here. Just picking that up, I know there's a sort of graininess that feels, that makes it softer. I'm not sure if that's true or not. So we're going to test these out. 
So basically with pastels, what you see is what you get. Um, so there's kind of no point to swatching them out, but I know people will ask. And I just wanna see how soft these are. This is Canson um, Mi Tante uh, pastel paper. So there's, I've got it on the textured side. There's just a little bit of a film maybe on these in the drawing process that they're soft. Oh, sorry, that was my cat having a bit of a meltdown. And now I'm covered in fur. And that's a really nice mustardy kind of yellow. That's more of an ochre. It really depends on the pigment too. Like that is so much softer than that. You can actually hear it, or I think you would be able to hear it. I can certainly feel it when I pick the softer ones up. Like that one. And there's hard. It's a really nice light blue. that hard sound again. So I'm just going to gently rub those away. Get my clean my hands clean a bit more clean before the next which is the portrait. I thought these would make a nice complement to the landscape as well because there are some more earthy tones in it as well. Like the grays, um, sort of sandy beige. Of course, this color, got burnt sienna, another gray. Oops. 
and this, especially this green. Just going to rub these bottom ones a little bit. Try not to contaminate them. Just to give you an idea of what they look like there. Now my battery is going to run out uh, quite soon, but I wanted to show you a little bit of a contrast with these in the Sennelier. Try to choose similar-ish colors. I just find these, like there's that hardness again, but there's something about the Sennelier ones. Something about their intensity, I don't know. Does anyone else have an opinion between these? The Unison versus the Sennelier? I'd love to hear, because I haven't bought um, very much of the Sennelier. I got this set um, at Christmas, it was on sale. It was a really, really good price in this beautiful box. Um, but I haven't really been doing too much with pastel. I've been using it more in combination with other media. So before I go into it full steam ahead, I kind of would value anyone else's opinion about Unison versus Sennelier or any others. Um, the Dime Townsend are really lovely and soft too. And next, I'm gonna pause now, juice up my phone, and then come back and swatch out the Roman Small uh, paints for you. Be right back. So before I do the swatching, I just wanna show you, this is the Unison um, Full Stick. And so that is really right on a half stick that I got. That's one that I got a while ago. <clears throat> uh, the Jacksons are about the same height, but they're a lot um, thicker. And they're, they're quite nice. I have a few of these as well. And then these are the Diane Townsend ones. This is the Damp Earth set, which is just beautiful. So these are a bit shorter, but they're a lot wider. You can see that. They're like really chunky, almost like pebbles. And quite soft and beautiful. So that's that for the pastels. Moving on to watercolor. You have um, watercolor paper that is used as the label wrapper. And so the color that's on there is pretty right on. And then it has a little um, bit of wax paper because they're quite, usually they're quite full and sometimes very sticky. So I'll get those unwrapped and then we'll get, so I'm just continuing where I left off. You can see the other videos and you can also find um, all of these swatches um, that you can download as P PDFs on my website. So this is the indigo blue. A little bit more on there. So 
although it's a bit darker than the in the throne which is what I was hoping for it really stains your brush so you have to make sure you wash that really well and so that was PB60 in PBK7 this is Mummy Transparent Red, which I just realized I already have. So, <laughs> oh dear. I don't know how that happened, but it's right there. So that might actually go to a new home. Make sure you check out my um, Instagram page or feed because sometimes I give away things and I think that I do a giveaway for some art supplies. So this is the iron chrome brown, which is what I really wanted for a while. It was just, it was out of stock. And it's a gorgeous kind of, not too far off the magazine manganese definitely a lot um redder than that one so that's it that's all um like i said you can find these on my website to download i also do um, art book reviews and i sell my own handmade watercolor on my website and on my instagram feed check that out to see what i'm doing with all these paints and how I'm exploring my city and also I am definitely due to give away some art supplies that I mistakenly bought two of. All right, thanks very much. Bye.